what a hell of a ride. Um, both motos, but specifically that that second moto, man. He was on rails. You know, that was one of the best motos, Ryan, that I, I've ever seen. Uh, I, I would dare to put it in, in the top five. Uh, you know, your your motos at the 07 Motocross of Nations will never be matched, I think. But uh, I remember in 2005, Ricky fell in the second turn here at Hangtown. And he had yep, a, I remember that. This was his winning streak as well. He was 24-0 and 0, uh, the previous summer. And uh, he went down and he got up and he passed everybody but two, James Stewart and Chad Reed. And uh, I thought that was just the, the most epic comeback. I didn't think J Chase had a chance. And, and, and rarely are you truly in dead last because someone you know has a problem or someone else goes down or whatever. Uh, it was phenomenal. And the energy out there, the crowd stayed to the finish. Uh, they gave him a, a, a hero's welcome. And, uh, you know, I, I was asked when was the last time this happened? I honestly, uh, I had forgotten about Jeffrey Hurlings at uh, Ironman in 2017 in the second moto. Um, but, but this one just kind of felt different. The, the Hurlings thing was uh, uh, like a John Michel Bale kind of day. Like no one really saw it coming. And it was just, you know, the end of the season it was really cool. But Chase, like he, this was a breakout ride. You know, he 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 hasn't won an outdoor national, I think, in a couple years. Uh, obviously, no one but Jet won last year, and uh, he finally looked at home on that KTM, and and I think that spells trouble moving forward. And the fact that Jet's not, you know, too banged up that he can't ride this weekend, I think Thunder Valley is setting up as a wild uh, event this weekend. Uh, but again. Credit to Chase Sexton. He never gave up. He didn't settle for second. I mean, I felt bad for Aaron Plessinger at the end. The poor <laughs> guy, the moto win. And like, oh, you, you know, flashbacks. Here comes number four. You know, we, we haven't seen a, a number four win a national since I, I think Baggett won one. But it reminded yep. me of the days of Ricky. It totally did. He, uh, he was riding really, really well, um, you know, be able to come from from last to first and, and literally pass, pass uh, AP with, uh, with about basically two turns to go. I mean, it came down to the wire. So that was, that was a phenomenal ride by him. Fowler facts was Chase's Moto2 good enough to beat Jet at a hundred percent. I'm going to say that, I mean, we can't, we can't, I can't, I'm not I guess speculate. We're speculating at this point. I think that was good enough to have one hell of a battle to the end. I think, Chase's speed, Chase's lines. Um, I don't know if I've seen Chase ride, um, you know, that well and that fast. What do you mm -hmm. think, Davey? Well, I think uh, I, I I agree. Uh, I would I would qualify the question though by this: if 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 Chase goes down like he did and Jet's out there, I don't think it would have been enough to get Jet. Uh, no, but for sure. Jet had Chase started up front, man, that's a battle I want to see. Uh, it it was uh, it was as if the you know the something flicked inside Chase whenever um, he went down. And then, again, this is the second moto, like you said, Ryan. He had a great first moto, great battle with uh, you know uh, the other Lawrence brother and yeah, and Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, and and it was it was it was it was the breakout ride. I think that both Chase and KTM have been uh wanting to have and and now he's got like 24 points on jet and jet's playing from behind and you know he's not going to have a lot of time to heal up or 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 get his confidence back up because sexton is like 100 percent right now he is yeah and and that's what that's what he needs sometimes it's you know like that first uh, what it was the second third turn crash just slid out just a little mistake got on the gas too hard spun that ktm around um, those, that kind of, like you said, that switch got flipped for chase. And sometimes that's what you need to put yourself in that position. Also, he knew that jet had that massive crash in moto one. So he knew to that day, Hangtown, that Saturday was his day to make up points. Um, and I felt like he, he capitalized on that. You know, he could have just, uh, rode around, ended up third, but I think he made a huge statement, um, state statement that second moto. So good, uh, good question. Fowler facts. 
and go to T Nuggets. Is Sexton's pace in Moto Two? Uh, Substantial. I uh, I seen a lot of close calls in that moto. <laughs> yeah, and so did I. I I totally did. I think Chase was riding on the edge, but I think it, it, that's what Chase needed to do. Meaning, why I say that is sometimes you need to ride that ragged edge to know with the limit of the motorcycle to know the limit of yourself on a very tough track like that. We had heat involved, you know, it's 30 plus two. It ends up being like 36 minutes long, depending on the lap time of the track. And I think that's what chase needed. That was like you said, that switch, he needed to push himself to that bitter end. And that's what we saw. That's why I think we saw the, him making, I don't want to say mistakes, but the bike was all over the place. And if you go back and watch myself back and watch Ricky back in the day, um, that's a lot how we rode um, uh, right on that ragged edge, but fast, fast and and made as we're watching him come down the hill, that bike is just dancing around. I don't think it's a setting thing. I think it's Chase riding on the edge, but yeah. also being able to control it and know his limit also. And, and he had a lot of ground to make up. So he had to. I mean, like we like I said, just prior just a second ago, he only passed AP with two to three turns to go. Yeah. So he needed to push. He needed to ride that edge. And I think he found, um, you know, and I didn't find something, but found something in himself. And, and now he knows how hard he can ride, how hard he can push that motorcycle. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all. So go for it.